more muscle relaxation? Uh, I would. It feels a little tight. Oh, certainly. No problem. Terry, did you say too high Um, yeah, I believe that's right. So anyway, you'll never guess who uh, Dr. Hart, you know, the cardiologist, asked me to check in on later today. It's this guy named Minolta. That's right, Minolta. Anyway, guy comes in with chest pain last night. Doesn't seem to have anything cardiac going on, but uh, it's going to hold it over for some more tests anyway. Tammy. Tammy. Oh, oh sorry, Dr. Shuttles. I, I, I was... So uh, anyway, he uh, wants me to check out some sutures he's got on his back. Apparently he hurt himself on the set of a film around here. You know, he's making a movie up in Northeast Georgia, right? No way. You're kidding. Right? No, no. It's, it's the real job. tell me now. You're meaning Johnny Minolta, the act... Johnny is really in this hospital a patient here? Yeah, you bet. Right here in our own Northeast Georgia Medical Center. Wait, wait. I remember about you and old Johnny. You still got that poster up on your wall? <laughs> oh, Tammy. Wow. Um, hey, Dr. Scholes. You think I might sneak along up to see him this afternoon when you go see him? Dr. Schultz, do you think the actor, John Minolta? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's him, the real John Minolta, the actor. Listen, he's right here in our own hospital, okay? Uh, Rose, will you send for my next patient, please? Yeah, like I said, he's right here with us in our own hospital. I probably shouldn't have even brought it up, but you know, what the heck, right? Hey, Sheila, can you pre-op Dr. Schultz's next patient? Oh, and by the way, did you know that actor Johnny Minolta is here in this hospital? Do you remember that uh, Tammy has this thing for him? <laughs> I know, it's hysterical. Can you find out what room he's in? I kind of want to sneak up there and go see him. Rose. Okay, Rose. Go, yes, Dr. Schultz. Rose, I want you to pull up his electronic medical record for me. I need to check out his chart before I go see him. Sure, Dr. Schultz, I don't mind. I just gotta open up some suture real quick. Jude, can you pull those labs up for him real quick? Sure. What's his name? Johnny Minolta? Yeah, it's John Minolta. Wait, wait. His full name is uh, Eugene. Eugene J. Minolta. Eugene. Eugene. <laughs> <laughs> like genie in a bottle. There's some for you, Tammy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's, it must be kind of a family name or something. Oh, I don't man. know. Okay, here it is. Wow. I didn't realize he was that old. How old is he? He was born in 19... Wait, guys, guys, let, let's just focus here. I just need his labs. Dude, can you just pull up his labs? And I need you to check his white count, too. Sure, Doc. No problem. Let's see. He's in 4707, and his white count... Whoa, Dr. Scholes, check this out. Did you know he has herpes simplex 10? Oh, that is dead. Tammy. Wait, wait, where's everybody going? We're doing an operation here. Oh, that is disgusting. Simplex 10. <laughs> 
The preceding events, although fictitious, demonstrate several clear violations of standards for patient privacy. These standards, commonly referred to as HIPAA, are only a small part of the entire HIPAA law. HIPAA, the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, was signed into law in 1996. HIPAA is a broad federal code addressing many aspects of healthcare. A small subset of HIPAA, known as the Privacy Rule, requires strict protection of a patient's protected health information, or PHI. The definition of PHI has been broadly interpreted to mean any part of an individual's medical record. Remember, if it's in the chart, it's protected health information. HIPAA, including its privacy rule, is governed by the Federal Department of Health and Human Services. This law provides for civil as well as criminal penalties for any violations. For example, in July 2011, UCLA Medical Center agreed to pay a fine of almost $1 million to settle charges that it repeatedly allowed unauthorized employees to look at the charts of patients. HIPAA requires our hospital to maintain policies and procedures that restrict access to patient information only to those employees with a valid reason to view the information, and must sanction any employee who is found to have violated these policies. Compliance with HIPAA's privacy rule is not only required by law, but it also makes good sense. Would you want to be a patient in a hospital which fails to securely protect some of the most vital and sensitive information about you? Keeping yourself in compliance with our privacy policy is simple. Access to a patient's medical record is only authorized for employees with a valid reason to view that information. Simply put, unless you are involved with the care of that patient, their chart is off limits. The one exception to this rule is in the case of an emergency. When a life-threatening condition exists and access to the electronic record is deemed necessary to expedite care, access is permitted on behalf of the requesting physician. In this case, be sure to complete any required documents to justify your HIPAA exception. In fact, that document may be the only way to accurately track your access and justify your login in case of any future audit. Remember, you, on the front lines of our health system, have routine access to some of the most vital and sensitive information about our patients. Following these guidelines not only keeps our hospital in compliance with HIPAA, it also protects the privacy of our patients. Doesn't that just make sense? Rose, I want you to pull up his electronic medical record for me. I need to check out his chart before I go see him. Remember, if you are not involved in the care of a patient, accessing their medical record is a violation of HIPAA, as well as the hospital's privacy policy. Dr. Schultz, are you sure? I'm pretty sure that's a HIPAA violation if I were to access that patient's records. In the case of an emergency situation, anyone may access the medical record to render assistance to a physician. R9, this is Rose. Uh-huh. Yes, Dr. Hart. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, hang on. Dr. Scholes, got Dr. Hart on the phone. He's got a patient with a crit of 20 and a tense abdomen. He thinks there might be some hemorrhaging. Okay, Rose, this is obviously urgent. On that monitor, I want to see his CT, his labs, and a prior operative report. Okay, thank you, Dr. Hart. Yes, Doctor. In the case of electronic access to assist in an emergency, be sure to complete any required paperwork to document the reason for your access to that patient's medical record. This is for your protection, as well as the hospital, since the question of authorized access may be asked at a later date, when it may be difficult to justify why you, without any clear involvement in the care of a patient, did in fact access their protected health information. Remember, at Northeast Georgia Health System, maintaining the privacy of our patients is a top priority. By following these guidelines every day, each of you will be doing a great service to the patients who put their trust in your hands. It's HIPAA, it's our policy, and it's the right thing to do.